Today, Kevin and I are gonna review two different things that Sarah sent me from California. Do you wanna say that one? You nope. can if you want. Nope. <laughs> he doesn't have his glasses. This is the Neo Coco Pistachio Anise Orange Toffee Brittle. And then this one is called Lula's Sea Salt Caramels. And um, I talked no anyway. Okay. I talked to Sarah on Snapchat about the this one because I was looking, you go to their website, it's www.lulas l u l a s dot com. And I looked all over the website for these because they just say Lula sea salt caramels and they get to the website. Well then when you go there, it they're calling them Gigi's caramels. So the name of the company is Lula's, but then they're calling them Gigi's. And but, it's all in the package. Right. Nowhere <laughs> on here does it say Gigi. Makes so sense. it was very confusing. So Sarah, I asked her, I said, is this the same thing? I held it up in Snapchat and she said, yes, it's the same thing. So we'll try this first. It is uh, sprinkled with local salt from Monterey Bay Salt Company. That's where they're located. Lula's uh, chocolate uh, or caramels. Lula's or they sea salt. Caramels. They're located in Monterey, California. I don't um, see any salt. It says they use fresh premium butter and heavy cream and cook slowly in heavy copper pots. And this is sea salt caramel. Yeah, it says it's sprinkled with local salt. There's no salt. Nope, there's a piece of salt in it. Mm. That's good caramel. I got a little piece of salt here and there. Mm -hmm. mm. For me, I could use more salt. However, mm. it's a really good piece of caramel. It's mm -hmm. not, it's not super sticky. It's a little sticky in your And it would last you for a long time. If I wasn't having to do that. You could let it kind of melt in your mouth a little bit. Oh yes, that is, that is wonderful and I love it. It's really it. good home. And I get, uh, the, I got the crunchiness of the salt when I was eating it, but then you get salt in your teeth too. Yeah, it's kind of hanging around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I it's think, really good. I think if you were able to, to suck on it, make it last longer, then the flavor of that salt is going to come out more and more. But those are very, very good. Uh, the only way that I saw that you could buy these is in bags. And like four ounce bags and like one pound bags. So I don't know if Sarah and her mom bought a bag and they just shared them with me, which is completely fine with me because I don't need a whole bag. Um, or if they bought these maybe single at a store. I don't know how they bought them, but... I appreciate them. They're delicious. You can see what they are. This smells good. Yes, these are the uh, Neo Coco Pistachio Anise Orange Toffee Brittle. They're made in Belmont, California. It's www.neoneococo.com. Neo Coco's Artisan Pistachio Anise Orange Truffle uh, Orange Toffee Brittle is handcrafted in small batches using only the highest quality, 100% natural ingredients, crunchy toasted pistachio, 72% dark chocolate, crushed anise seed, orange and brown sugar set our brittle apart. Our dark buttery toffee is thinly layered between dark chocolate, resulting in a perfectly light and crispy brittle that is richly satisfying and sure to leave you craving more. Okay. Mmm. I've never had brittle like that in my life. Mm. It's weird. It's almost like a, um, like that, um, the texture is so What's different. that bubbly stuff? The, not the flake bar, but the, the, the kind that's got the, it's almost like foam that's hard not, it's sugary, sugary foam. It's is like it? an arrow bar. Is that it? Yeah, arrow bars are like that. That kind of has that texture inside. It's not quite as hard, but it has that texture inside. That um, is a strong coffee. It has a coffee kind mm -hmm. of flavor. I don't really get the orange. Did you say it? What did you, how did you say it? Anise. Anise. Mm -hmm. The ant, you can taste that more towards the end. It's that, I think that's that coffee flavor you're getting is that, is that anise. Mm -hmm. Cause I would have called that if I was blindfolded, I would call that coffee. Yeah. 
I agree. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. It's very dark chocolate though. It's mm -hmm. got that bitter flavor to it. But um, it's not horrible. It's not something I would eat. I think it'd be better if, it, if I had, me personally, had it in milk instead of dark. Milk but, chocolate. I'll tell you what though, I could eat that entire bag. Yeah. Um, it's, it's got a good texture to it. The texture, it's uh, addictive. The texture yeah. is addictive. It's one of those that if you are a texture person with your foods, you want to keep going back for more and more and more. Uh, be, and and I, I do like the coffee flavor, and it is a very dark chocolate. It's like a burnt coffee. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's really good. I it's like different. that. And, and I, yeah, it's very different. Um, I'm going to have to go to their website to see if they have anything in milk chocolate. Uh, because I, It's a shame, though, that they say the pistachio and all that stuff, because I think they could have saved on the pistachio, because you can't taste it. I do, it. too. I don't the taste orange, it. I could. don't know if they had left that out, if we would have missed it or not, because... In the orange, I too. think you're just tasting the... Um, the anise and the the cocoa. Yeah, the um, chocolate part. And the the toffee. chocolate part. And the yeah, toffee. and the toffee. Uh, but the, I like that. I like the texture of that, yeah. and I really like really this like caramel. caramel. I think that's delicious. So um, I will put both websites in the description below. And if you're in the California area and you're able to pick them up, if you see them, I would definitely give them a try. Sarah and Nancy, thank you so much, and thanks for watching.